one of the things you're going to do in Trade Navigator a lot is obviously work with chart windows and you want to be able to build certain layouts of your charts. So we're going to talk about creating templates in this video. This is an idea of a template here. I've got some in my list, a lot in my list. But when we click on an item here, it applies that template to the chart window to give that chart a different view. Now when you're going to build a chart template, you can add anything to the chart that you want and you can pretty much create any type of appearance that you can think of. So what are you going to do when you build a template? Well, you really need to start with a blank chart. Uh, basically, starting with a blank chart means that we're going to start from scratch with no indicators applied to the chart window. Now once you start off with a blank chart window and you can apply your default template to the chart to get a blank chart or you can go through edit chart settings and remove all of the checks except for price to start with a blank chart. Now to add items to the chart window, a lot of different ways that we can add items to the chart but we'll start first by clicking on the add a study and then we'll select the item that we want to place on the chart and you're simply going to repeat this process for every indicator or highlight bar that you're going to apply to your chart and remember there's nothing that limits you to the number of items that you can have on the chart window or the different settings that can be applied to these different items now once you get all of the indicators applied to your chart this could be stochastics again or Bollinger Bands moving averages once you get them all applied to the chart window, you'll then want to go back and make sure that the individual settings that you want to apply have been made, such as maybe changing the moving average values or changing the stochastics values. You'll want to go to each one of the items and make your changes either through the appearance or again through the individual values that can be applied to each indicator. Now, if you would also like to rearrange items, for example, let's say we want volume to be on the very bottom, then we'll highlight pane 2, which is the volume, and we'll either drag it down, or we could have used the up and down arrow keys to move the volume from top to bottom. Now because templates are individual items, we can also create individual templates based off of different time frames or again, templates that have different indicators applied to them. So again, make sure that you go back, change all of the settings the way that you want them to be set, and then you're ready to create your template. Your template, since we're inside of the edit chart settings window, we can begin saving the template by clicking on the template button along the bottom of the edit chart settings. Now we're prompted with a couple of different choices here. We can create a, an entirely new template or we can save what we're creating to, to one of the already existing templates. We're going to create a new one, so I'll click the new button. Whatever the name is obviously should reflect what's on the template, so make sure you create a good naming convention so you can find your templates faster. Once you've named the template, click OK, and that template now will show up in the list of templates. To make this one of the templates I use most frequently, I'll even move it up the list so I have faster access to that template whenever I need it. All templates are going to be made with the same process, but now when we're ready to apply that template to a chart window, we'll simply locate our chart, select templates, choose our template from the list. If you'll also notice, there are numbers next to the templates that are listed here, 0 through 9, so we can even apply our template by pressing the number on the keyboard.